Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. In this video, we are going to discuss the classification of phylum Echinodermata. Phylum Echinodermata, in which we see exclusively marine animals. This is the last invertebrate phylum, which includes several about 7,500 living species and the most common examples are the starfish, brittle star, sea urchin, sea lily and sea cucumber. These all have some features in common but certain features differentiating. Some with a star shaped body, some with globe like body, some sedentary, some with elongated body. So they differ in certain features. And on the basis of their locomotory structures and other features, phylum Echinodermata has been divided into five different classes. Five main classes are Asteroidea, Ophuroidea, Holothuroidea, Echinoidea, and Crinoidea. We have to discuss the features of these different groups one by one in detail. Let us see the number one class Asteroidea. Asteroidea includes sea star or starfish like creatures. And these are commonly called starfish. They have radially arranged five or more arms. If more, then the arms are in the multiple of five. Here for locomotion, they have tube fit. So one of the peculiar feature, we say tube fit present. Ambulacral groove is also present. The grooves in each arm can be seen on the lower side. Common examples are Asterias, the starfish, Astropecton, Oreoster, etc. One another class. Class Ophuroidea. The common example Ophura is shown here. Common name of Ophura, brittle star. And the members of this group are often called, commonly called brittle star. These also have a star like body having five flexible arms. If more, then in the multiple of five. In this group also, tube fit are present. Tube fit help in locomotion mainly, but they also help in respiration, food capturing, etc. We have discussed the role of tube fit in echinoderms under previous video. Ambulacral groove is absent, and the common examples Ophura, Ophioderma, Ophiothrix, etc. One another group, class Holothuroidea. Commonly called sea cucumber, members of this group have elongated body, cucumber like body, so called sea cucumber found in sea. The body wall is leathery. In other case, we have seen spines on the skin here, leather like, thick and body. Tube fit absent. In previous group, tube fit present. Here, tube fit absent. They do not have any arm no spine. Ambulacral groove area is visible. Ambulacral groove visible here. Common examples Holothuria, Cucumeria, Pelagothuria, etc. One other class under phylum Echinodermata. Class Echinoidea. The members of this group are commonly called sea urchin or sand dollars. A starfish like arms are absent. This is the diagram of sand dollar. Arms are absent here. But we can see the five lines on the central disc here. However, in them ambulacral groups are absent, but tube fit present, which help in locomotion. Here, a starfish like arms absent, tube fit absent, Ambulacral group absent, so body very simple. Common examples are Echinus, 
clypeaster that is also called cake urchin, echinocardium, etc. One another important group under phylum echinodermata that is crinoidea. The members of this group are commonly called sea lily. They have flower like colorful body. Arms are present but body remains attached with a stalk. So members of this group are sedentary showing no locomotion. They remain attached at some fixed place. Several arms are there. Ambulacral group is present here. Tube feet present which may perform some other functions. Common examples of this group are antidon, commonly called sea lily, common name sea lily. Here the diagram is that of sea lily. Neometra, common name feather star, etc. This is all about the classification of phylum echinodermata. Now let us see the different groups in comparative way. Five different groups we have discussed under phylum echinodermata. Asteroidea, Ophiroidea, Holothuroidea, Echinoidea and Crinoidea. The members of all other groups can move. They show locomotion. But Crinoidea, this group includes sedentary animals, no locomotion. Common examples, common names are here of these different groups. Asteroidea, commonly called starfish. Ophiroidea, the members of this group, commonly called brittle star. Holothuroidea, sea cucumber, having elongated body. Equinidea, this includes sand dollar or sea urchin. And crinoidea, the example is sea lily. So, five major groups in phylum echinodermata. This is all about the classification of phylum echinodermata. In our next video, we shall discuss the introduction and features of phylum chordata. So, stay tuned for upcoming videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.